In the show today, I will be having a very special interview with the director of Gaza Media in the name of Mr. Kumba Enes. The director will be joining me through Skype. Mr. Director, you are welcome to the studio. Yes, thank you for inviting me and I'm happy to be here. Okay, so how are you doing today, sir? <laughs> thank you, I'm doing okay and I hope everyone too is doing alright out there. Okay, so... Uh, let me just go straight away to the first question. So, how did this e-newspaper start and where is it right now? Yes, uh, yeah, first, when I was elected as the Secretary General of Gaza 1890 in charge of communication, uh, I thought of a very effective way to send out information that would be authentic from the leadership of the organization. And I thought there was no other better way to do it other than the the e-news uh, uh, and the newspaper and today it has grown to a, a bigger media house and uh, I thank everyone for that. Thank you so much sir. You usually publish this e-newspaper monthly but lately the process has seemed to slow down. So what seems to be the problem? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, yeah, we, we actually published per edition, and the eighth edition is now underway, even though it used to be Monday. But because we now have other branches of communication, like uh, the weekly podcast, so some of the information or some of the news has gone through that channel, and that's why the EU has actually slowed down. More also because I'm a member of a team of volunteers, so due to their other busy schedule, they, may not, uh, they are not always able to send the report to me on time. Okay, thank you so much, sir. As director, do you have any structural policy? I mean, the way the media house of Gaza uh, operates? Yes, uh, we have very strict uh, rules in which we operate. Each and every member have their well-defined function and what they should do. Uh, we also have a policy on what we air as news, what goes on the newspaper as an oracle, and those policies are tied to our constitution. Okay, thank you so much. So what does it take to be a member of the Gaza Media Team? Uh, yes, uh, any person can join. Uh, first, it is a volunteer. This is a voluntary position, but it is also a job that needs a lot of sacrifice and commitment. The first thing is you need to be committed. You must have access to internet. Uh, you must be able to cover an event uh, in a timely manner. Uh, you must be able to respond uh, to, to me promptly uh, when called upon to maybe to do a coverage or to write a paper that will go on the news media. Thank you, sir. I understand you usually uh, organize Zoom conference meetings where you invite guest speakers to come and do presentations. So, what are the requirements if one has to be a guest speaker at the Zoom conference meeting of Gaza 8990? Uh, yes, because our organization has very strong uh, policy and objective. So uh, any presenter or any guest speaker uh, must meet certain guidelines. The topic must meet the objective of our organization. That person must have a device uh, that has an application, uh, to, that has a Zoom application. It means you can log in to the, to the Gaza University. This is a university where we come to share knowledge, we come to gain knowledge. It's not where you gain certificate per se, but uh, you gain knowledge. So. Uh, the person will give us a topic. You can either send your topic through me or through Julius in case that. And they will review it. If you meet our objective, then we'll give you a response. Then you must also uh, give us an abstract of your presentation uh, three days to the, uh, to the day of the conference. Okay, thank you, sir. Any last word to our viewers? Uh, I just want to give a shout out to all the members of Gaza Media for the wonderful job that they have been doing, even though it's not an easy, uh, even though I sometimes I always demand, uh, demand a lot from them, but uh, it's a voluntary position. I, I want to thank you, especially Gillette, uh, for organizing your show and for keeping the Gaza uh, members together. 
The pleasure is all mine, sir. I thank you for honoring my invitation. Thank you for taking our time in your busy schedule to spend this time sharing wonderful information with my viewers. Again, I say I'm very grateful.